Cats might be one of the cutest creatures on Earth, but we can't deny the fact that they're also quite weird. They tend to do things that seem to have come out of nowhere, but when you ask other cat owners, they say their cats do the same thing. With that, it becomes obvious that while cats are unique, there are some strange behaviors that they all tend to take part in. And in this video, we're going to be explaining 10 of them. Number 10. Hatred for Water Cats don't really like new things. They tend to stick to what they know and will be totally happy going in circles all day long. Water is something that they aren't actually accustomed to because the entire species evolved from creatures that spend most of their time in dry, arid climates. And they also groom themselves perfectly and don't really need baths often, which is why they don't really go into streams to clean themselves like most other animals. To cats, water is unnecessarily annoying. It's wet, it gets everywhere, and it's just annoying to deal with so they do everything in their power to get away from it. And well, they're pretty darn good at getting away from it. If you're having trouble bathing your cat because of its distaste for water, try filling up a tub of water, line the bottom with a thick rag, and gently lower them into it. And then use a container to pour water over their bodies. That way, the water won't be as threatening. But it still won't be a pleasant experience for your cat, so keep the bathing to a minimum because they can easily handle their own baths just fine. Number 9. Extreme Zoomies have you ever had one of those days where you've just winded down for the night ready for bed and then suddenly your cat harnesses all the energy in the world and starts running from corner to corner with no regard for anything they might drop in the way? Yeah, that's not your cat chasing an invisible threat, nor is there a ghost trying to take over your house. It's just your cat having extreme zoomies. Zoomies are also frenetic random activity periods, fraps for short. This is when your cat has so much pent-up energy that it just doesn't know what to do with it anymore and to release it starts running around at the speed of light. These zoomies might be in the form of running laps around your house, outside, or even upside and down a wall. When this happens, just let the zoomies run its course and then pet your cat. If you intercept too soon, you might become a target and the energy might just be too much for you to handle. Number 8. Chattering most of us are used to cats meowing, hissing, and purring, so whenever they make a noise that's totally different, it can catch us off guard and be confusing. One of those random sounds is your cat chattering at the windows. If you never heard a cat chatter before, the sound might catch you off guard. You might even think that there's something wrong with your cat, but that's not it. Chattering is strange but completely normal. Cats usually chirp at windows when they see a bird outside. Since cats are predators and birds are their prey of choice, seeing them outside a window gets them super excited to sink their teeth into one of them. And even if they can't grab it, they'll express just how much they'd want to. It's not just birds cats chirp at, it's anything that gets them excited. It could be mice, flies, or even a person. Anything they're thrilled about. This is one of those behaviors that you can't really do anything about, and since they're not actually destructive, so just sit back and enjoy the cuteness of their excitement. Number 7. Bringing over dead things This one will come as a shock no matter how many times it happens to you. Almost all of the cats that have access to the outdoors will do this at some point. They'll go hunt something down and bring you the dead remains. While this might be distressing, your cat means to do the exact opposite of causing you distress. It's actually trying to take care of you. Cats see their humans as part of the family, and cats are pretty good at taking care of their families. What's going on here is that your cat hasn't seen you hunt anything and things that you just don't know how to, so it tries to teach you how it all works. They're trying to show you that even though they might be a better hunter than you, it doesn't mean that you have to starve until you learn how to catch your own prey. As sweet as that may be, if you want to put a stop to it, or at least reduce it, get your cat a belled collar so the bird or mouse is alerted of their presence and runs away before the cat has the chance to pounce. Number 6. Kneading 
kittens need on their mothers while they're nursing, which makes sense because they're trying to access as much milk as possible, but some adult cats continue to need even as adults. They'll need on anything from pillows to blankets to even your stomach, and while they might be too old to feed off their moms, they love the feeling of safety and comfort, and soft things like pillows, blankets, and often your stomach brings them right back to how safe they felt with their moms. This behavior isn't one you'd want to put a stop to. You'd want them to keep going because it's one of the most adorable strange things cats do. Number 5. Squeezing into things Does your cat do the if I fit I sit no matter how tiny the spot might be? Well, while that might look severely uncomfortable to you, it's not really uncomfortable for them. Cats love tiny spaces like boxes or even bowls because the more confined they are when they're relaxing, the safer they feel. They can stay warmer that way, and they know that a predator can't possibly be in there with them. Plus, some just do it because they can. So the next time you see your cat barely fitting in the shoebox, leave it be because it's having the time of its life. Number 4. Knocking things off Cats are tiny troublemakers. One of the most annoying things cats tend to do is knocking things off of tables even though those things might have done nothing to provoke such a response. You could even be right there telling your cat not to knock that thing off, but it would just look at you right in the eye and knock it over anyway. That's not them hunting anything, it's usually just them being a little too attention-seeking. Sometimes cats will solely knock things over to get a reaction out of you. Just start playing with them more and keep them engaged so they don't have to resort to extreme measures to get your attention. Number 3. Slapping Things Cats have a strange way of checking things out. You often find them stalking something they're trying to understand or get right up in there and start slapping it. Most of the time, the slap thing will get stuck to their nails, and it can quickly create a giant mess of things too. You'd think that your cat would learn the first 10 times it slapped something, but no, it'll just do it over and over again. That's not your cat being weird for no reason, it's just trying to figure out what that object is and what it's made of. Since cats have extremely sensitive paws and no opposable thumbs, instead of just holding something and examining it, they'll slap it around until they either understand it or it becomes their nemesis for life. Number 2. Presenting the Booty Have you ever gone to pet your cat's head and had it just turn around right as you're about to get there and present you with their glorious booty instead? That might seem rude to you because a person wouldn't do that, but that's literally how cats say hello to each other. They're just trying to say hello and let you know that they don't mean you any harm. Cats use their butts to confirm another's identity, so they're just trying to help you do the same. Number 1. Digging Outside of the Sandbox If your cat's ever gone in the sandbox only to do their business and then start digging outside of it, they're not being delirious, they're trying to tell you that you do a terrible job at cleaning that sandbox. It's either not as clean as they'd want it to be, or you need to change out the sand entirely. Whichever one it might be, they do not approve and you need to send over the housekeeping to figure it out for them. More often than not, the housekeeping is you, so get to it before they start using your bed as a toilet. Alright, which one of these strange behaviors does your cat display? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Inforama, and we'll see you in the next one.